Hello and welcome to the second Folk Active Youth Ensemble tutorial. Today we're going to learn a D major polka called Harper's Frolic. Before learning the tune, I'd like you to listen to it a few times to get an idea of the sound and the structure, and then we'll learn it piece by piece. Let's start by learning the A section. I'll play two bars over and over again. Join in as soon as you are ready. Each part of the tune has an upbeat. Have another listen. Join in when you're ready. One more time. And now the answer to that phrase. One more time. And then we get our question from the beginning again. One more time. And then a slightly different answer. Let's put the whole A section together slowly. If there is a bit you're not sure of, please rewind the video and have another go. One, two, three. And again. 
Let's do it two more times. One, two, three. Now let's take a look at the B section. Same rules apply. I'll play it four or five times. You join in as soon as you are ready. The B section starts like this. And again. One more time. And is answered with this. And then you have a very similar question. One more time. And then your answer. Let's try putting all of that together. Is the whole B section nice and slow? One, two, three. Two more times. One more time.
Let's try and put that all together. If you're unsure, please rewind the video and have another go at any bits that you find tricky. One, two, one, two, three. Well done if you managed to play that all the way through. Let's try it a little bit quicker. One, two, one, two, three. Time.
Well done if you made it all the way to the end of that tune without stopping. It's quite a tricky tune to get your fingers around. Next session, we're going to learn a G major polka called Bonnie Kate. These two tunes go really well together as a set, so make sure you get your fingers around this tune ready for next time. <laughs>